how difficult is it to yeah, to make the right play in that situation or to get open for real look when everybody <laughs> knows it's coming late? Mm -hmm. so right. Whether it's Mike or Nate. Definitely. Um, I've talked to the coaches multiple times about switching up things um, to do at the end of uh, the shot clock, whether that's me coming off down screens or different ways to not just get a ball screen at the top of the key, um, just to get different looks. Um, and the coaches have listened to what I have had to say and um, trying to get into different actions like that to where I'm not put in those positions that I have to take a tough shot at the end of a shot clock or um, having to make a play at the end of a shot clock. But um, overall, it's, it's something that I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with, um, whether that's knocking down a shot or finding an open teammate or finding a role or something like that. But I've been in those situations enough to where I, it's just become natural to me to know what to do in those situations and know where everybody is. This league is obviously you know, loaded with top point guards. Have you ever felt you know, overlooked throughout your career, you know, based on what you've done, that, you know, just kind of flies under the radar at times? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. I feel like that's been um, a synopsis of my whole career, um, not just at here, um, but in high school as well. Um, it's been like that my whole life. So um, it's just something that uh, I think about, and it helps me um, be motivated and be dedicated to what I do. And I just know that if I continue to work hard, that my progress will and my things will turn into success. Your assist numbers have been way up since you know Kobe left the team. You know, is it something that goes hand in hand, or what do you, what do you think's working for you over these last four games that's allowed you to you know really see an increase in those numbers? Um, well, one, I gotta say thank you to my teammates because they're getting out shots, but also um, just being more aggressive on the offensive end, whether that's pushing in transition or going more north and south downhill um, and finding guys on rules and things like that. So um, it's been a big uh, key point that I've been trying to focus focus on over the last uh, few you know, weeks and it works out well. uh, it's, it's been going, going well for me. It's been a big uptick in, in your rebounding numbers over that span too. What's made you kind of maybe want to take a more active role on, on the glass or is it you know, just kind of the way the game's unfolded here? Uh, I've definitely been more aggressive on going to the glass, especially defensive, um, defensive glass. Um, I think that's just been a big thing where um, I can go in there and get four to six rebounds a game and um, if I just go in there and be aggressive towards it and that's, that's when pretty well recently and that's been a goal of mine as well to get those numbers to creep up there so um, I'm going to continue to crash, crash the glass. Um, obviously there's a mismatch I'll say, I thought a few other players including Carter, what does Boogie bring to the, when he brings in that Right before, right before lamps are there. What, is, what does he bring to the team? He just brings a whole different energy. Um, somebody that obviously doesn't have the spotlight or the recognition that he deserves, but he's just a glue guy, really. And um, just his speeches before the game are really inspiring, actually, and really hype and exciting. And he gets us ready and gets us pumped um, to go out there and play to our best ability. And then he's always dancing in the circle. So it just shows his character and his personality. When it comes to that, too, what's been the best speech that he's had in your eyes? No, <laughs> he, he brings one every game um, that's pretty good. It's kind of hard to pick one that's like super like stand out, but they're all like really good and really it's like you had to like practice this beforehand or something because it's things that you would not think of to say to um, go out there before a game. So um, he's doing a great job. He's definitely going to keep going. Uh, we'll love best dance. Um, oh. And he has a lot of great dances. Um, <sighs> and he does a lot of weird dances, so I don't know. I honestly don't know which one is like his best or signature because he does one different every time. So um, it's definitely, definitely a thing for Boogie. It's definitely a thing just for him. It's uh, specifically made for him. So yeah, I mean, I wish I would have made that dunk. Nebraska's lost nine in a row, but you know, they've been in there with a lot of the top teams in the league. You know, how dangerous of a you know, team is this going to be for you guys at home, knowing that they're hungry for a win and they've been right on the edge there? Yeah, um, they're really, really looking for that win. Um, uh, obviously, they just played Maryland really, really tough at Maryland. So um, I think that they're going to come in hungry, especially playing at home. They play with a different tempo, different. Uh, um, atmosphere, and I think that the crowd's going to be really into it, and I think they're going to come out um, on fire. So we got to just take that, take that away from the yeah. beginning. To make matters yeah. more complicated yeah, for you guys, you know, like the first meeting they, they doubled every post touch and it backfired badly for them. You guys had 18 threes. Uh, take it, you guys have to be prepared for you know completely different 
um, stylistic approach this time around. Yeah, I think um, obviously their defense approach didn't really work um, to keep us off the threes um, last last time, but uh, I think that they, we're going to definitely see a mix of different defensives, defenses, whether that's zone, um, different man-to-man -man principles, things like that, but we, we just got to be ready for whatever, and I think the coaches will do a great job of um, getting that scout together. And what have you guys appreciated about Trevor you know, since you guys have been really short-handed here to you know, be more aggressive offensively and you know, try and just give you a lift and you know, make up for, or, I mean, I'm sure you know, give you and Brad you know, maybe more of a rest than maybe you would have thought was possible with you know, seven scholarship guys. You know, a lot of um, well, we've definitely been telling Trapper to be more aggressive, um, especially me and him have a really, really close relationship. And I think the biggest thing is that throughout practices, we're just telling him to shoot the ball and be aggressive and get downhill and find guys. And he's definitely taking that uh, role to another level. And uh, it's really good to have him come in the game and play some point guard and put me off the ball. Um, and the and vice versa, really well. and I think that it just uh, but, two know, just, like said, two guard lineup together, is really really tough to guard. So I think that um, having him step up in a major way has definitely helped us be successful.